Let's. He's gonna be able to jump through the wall at us at some point. I do know that. Oh, he just stomped on us. <laughs>「friends and Dino Nuggets and welcome back to the Terraria playthrough today we are going to be looking for some definite upgrades by going into the underground jungle and mining up some chlorophyte I'm really excited to get this done we do have the Drax which means that we should be able to harvest chlorophyte now um, I, I have turtle shells which means that we can make our turtle armor as well as if we get enough chlorophyte, we'll be able to upgrade our Excalibur into the true Excalibur, which puts us one step closer to getting the Terrorblade. So I'm super excited for that. Um, we are also probably going to take on Queen Slime at the end of this episode. I would like to get through the chlorophyte first. We have so much stuff to sell, by the way. So much stuff here to sell. We actually did get an upgrade on our our yo-yo with the yellets. I don't really use the yo-yos too much, so we'll have to see if we can put that to use at some point. Now, to look for chlorophyte, we're actually going to go down this way first. We our elevator kind of connects the 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 jungle underground jungle actually spawned very very close to us. Um, it did get corrupted, unfortunately, so we are going to have to deal with some corruption and corruptive enemies. That being said, at least we could maybe farm up some souls of night while we do this as well. There's one as we speak. This is our little mimic farming area, which we definitely do not need anymore. <laughs> I think we could actually get a little bit lower than this to find our jungle. I believe it connects pretty easily. That's how we quickly got to our Queen Bee arena that we made. I think it's this way. I think the jungle is in this direction. I get reaccustomed to these controls again. I did a live stream in which we started over and everybody played with me it was a lot of fun but it did put me it did it did put me with new materials or or a new loadout that I am not used to using now <laughs> forgot how good it feels to be further progressed now I could have swore that we were in the jungle somewhere around here but it seems as though I must have been mistaken. I'm gonna have to look at the map really quick. Because I could have swore. Oh, I did miss it. This was the, I thought this was the house, but this is it here. So we did miss it by a good amount. I will actually go ahead and pause the recording real quick. I'll skip forward to when I get to the underground jungle. All right, we have made it to the underground jungle. And I'm already seeing some chlorophyte here. We are going to do a bit of... Let's get some buffs on. would really like to destroy this mimic here. I think it's a corrupt mimic. Which is doing some serious damage to us. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought maybe we could bump into him enough with the <laughs> Shield of Cthulhu. So we're back here in the underground jungle after being eviscerated by the corrupt mimic. We're going to definitely keep our eyes out for more of those. I wasn't really thinking about the fact that we're going to get spawns from both. Even though I mentioned it, it really didn't click in my mind. But I am seeing that we got a lot, and I mean a lot, of chlorophyte ore here. Which is going to be really good for us. Now, hopefully we don't get too bombarded. I could have brought the contaminator and cleaned up while we were, while we were going, but I feel like there's no fun in that of being too obsessive about cleaning. So 
so we're just gonna go straight for the chlorophyte hope for the best and then let's go ahead and kill these guys first of all yeah, they're crowding up the entire map here this is gonna make the underground jungle twice as hard as it needs to be now that we are here let us hit our buffs we're really not going to have any problem killing anything in here. It's just going to be a matter of getting hit by things in here. That's the real struggle. So I see some chlorophyte up above us. I see some here. Let's go ahead and dig this up. Our mining speed. Not too bad. It's going to get better. With more of our gear in the future. We're definitely going to be working towards getting some shroomite. That's why I put together I put together that surface mushroom biome. I'm hoping that we can get that situated nice and nice and early. I know, well, it's kind of late now, I guess, but <laughs> nice and soon, I should say. Hoping to be able to get that situated. The hunter potion comes in handy with these worms of all kinds that we're going to experience here. We're going to try not to get murdered by these guys who shoot the corrupt flames. I can't remember their name. Klinger. We're just going to make sure that we don't have to worry about these guys. Hopefully. Klingers. Really, as long as we Get the jump on them. Shouldn't be an issue. See some chlorophyte up here. I think, thankfully, we've been in hard mode for quite a while. I think we're going to have a good amount of chlorophyte that has naturally spawned over time. So we're going for, if I did the math correctly, hopefully I did. We need about 400 chlorophyte ore in order to get the turtle armor as well as the upgraded Excalibur. But that's not including anything else that we might want to get. So I'm not going to stop at 400. We do have, let's see if we can find it. We do have 132 already, so we're doing just fine. I see a little patch up there. We're going to leave that, allow it to grow, because it does spread. Allow that to spread over time. Let's get these guys through the wall, because we're cool like that. And let's see if we can't find some more chlorophyte. Oh, look at another corrupt mimic. You guys can see it up above us here i would really like to to beat one and see what we get out of it i don't know if this is the right method of approaching it because <laughs> i do think that let's he's gonna be able to jump through the wall at us at some point i do know that He just stomped on us <laughs> and another corrupt mimic killing us. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> we need to work on our approach there. So I'm going to attempt to come in through a different angle this time. This is where I cleared up the upper half for some corruption of the jungle. When I kind of I went through, I tried to save a lot of the jungle so we still have the biome, of course. But I would like to jump down here. An attempt to approach from this direction. I know that we had a, a few good openings that we could that we could go through. I'm gonna do that here. I see plenty of turtles. They attack us on the surface all the time. Oh, I got another turtle shell, which is nice. Turtle shale. I said that weird. <laughs> Let's kind of go through. I don't see. 
any huge veins of chlorophyte yet. I don't know if it spawns lower. Here's some here. Always a plus to get a huge vein, which I do see more in this direction. Don't know if you guys saw it. So, a good amount here as well. We're getting really close to our number. I'm really hoping to get as much as we can. I'm hoping to get more than enough so that we can really make some progress in our equipment. I do need to get some life fruit, which I see a few real nearby. I see one of those plant clinger. I don't know what this guy's name is. Man eater. There we go. Gonna break open this way. Jump down here. We're okay for now. Let's grab this chlorophyte. We are going to grab a life fruit. I think I saw it really close. Where was it? It was up here somewhere. I don't see it at the, oh, there it is. I already had broken it, I guess. So there's our first life fruit. Life fruit, what it's gonna do is actually increase our total health. So we have two, we're at 400. We use this twice, that's gonna get us to 410. So now we are officially above our former cap. I see a life fruit here, we almost missed one. We're going to try to fill up our health bar now. We can get up to a total of 500. We're definitely going to attempt that. I'm going to get out of this area because I do see a water candle. <laughs> the last thing we need is for another mimic. I do see a mimic has spawned. I don't know where it's at. But I see it's a normal mimic though, which are significantly less intense. I see a bunch of chlorophyte over here. Let's go ahead and grab it. This has a real decent amount here. Above us, there's some below us here as well. I thought that turtle was gonna drop on us. It, ha it had the angle on the drop. 50 giant tortoises, by the way kind of insane that we have killed that many turtles only have four turtle shells to show for it I believe I believe we made it to four I see more chlorophyte we're gonna breathe here you see that one right here it'll hopefully spread eventually to be more than that I don't know if you can dry out the jungle of chlorophyte. I wonder if that's possible. How many have we gotten to now? 303. Let's use this life, life fruit. I believe that the life fruit also has a use in the shimmer. It gives another buff just like the life crystal did. So we'll definitely be checking that out soon. I see a moth here. I don't know if that moth will be anything to worry about. So I'm hesitant to fight it. I also don't know if the skeleton merchant will have anything good for us. He definitely might. 